Welcome to Mamelodi Sundowns TV. If you are new to watching this, this is a Mamelodi Sundowns story has been shared by the legends of the club. Today we do have coach Kofi Sapula to give us more insights about the big game that Mamelodi Sundowns will be facing against Orlando Paris, the second semi-final. Welcome coach. No, thanks Tiko. It's a, it's a privilege to be here. Thank you very much. Now, being a coach that played for both teams, how, how does a player actually prepare for such, for such a game? Um, I think a, a game like this, um, uh, for both teams actually, the, the, the expectation and, and the demands, yeah. it's, it's, it's obviously to please the supporters mm. and they're expecting a win. Yeah. And, and I think the, the question is proper, Tico, because a game like this, uh, a coach, the coaching staff, the technical staff, staff, they can do all that is necessary from their side. But, but these are type of matches where you as a player, you yeah. need to take charge, you know. Yeah. Uh, it's a game where it will always pose questions in terms of your personality and character. Yeah. You know, it's a game where uh, if you're a player that have been performing well in the last few games, you just actually af want to affirm that. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and it's also an opportunity for the players that are fringe or the players that have not enjoyed much success maybe in the last few games yeah. or so uh, to say this is the one game where you can redeem yourself. You know, a game like this, once you are able to perform at the right level, yeah, you're actually sending a statement yeah. to say you are back, you know. Yeah. So it's a, it's, a, it's a game that is very, very important for, for, for a player in his career. So now, Coach, you, you, you look at especially how the, the first leg was at Orlando Stadium. You look at how Mamelodi Sundowns played. You look at how Orlando Pirates played. I think uh, many people actually came out and said that, well, that's one of the best performances that Orlando Pirates mm. produced on the day. So now, what do you... what, what fans can expect in the second leg uh, in Polokwane? Um, I, I think also even even um, moving further back yeah. uh, in, in when the two teams in their encounters in the past, mm. you'd find uh, how Sundowns play, you find teams will always change, uh, play with a reinforced defense yeah. and, and wait for a counter or set plays and all that. Yeah. But when it comes to Orlando Pirates, they always played an open game. Yeah, yeah. They always fancied their chances that in an open game, they can match sundowns. Yeah. And it has always been a very interesting encounter when the two teams meet. Uh, as, as you had said earlier, the, the, the last game, you could see also Pirates created a lot of good goal-scoring opportunities yeah. to actually give them a, a chance to win the match. Yeah. And when you come to, to the second leg, uh, back of a good win also for Pirates yeah. and you can see they're starting to play with a lot of belief and courage and confidence True. especially in the in the attacking third yeah. you know with Roto and John Joe uh, Kemit you yeah. know you can see the the how they 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 try to find each other the communication they're building so it's and also on the other side you can see that uh, the last few games uh, for for Sundowns um, uh, you, you see how also uh, Player like Spelele and yeah. players from the academy, uh, the young Keshas, yeah. are finding the back of the net. Yeah. So it's going to be very interesting because normally we say the the, the game is won and lost in the midfield, mm. but specifically this one, I think the team that will win is a team that will will be clinical in front of goals because I see a, a game with a lot of goals yeah. uh, because I see two teams that will play fearless and I think uh, there are going to be a lot of goal scoring situations created and the team with the nerve and the composure to, yeah. to take the chances I think yeah. uh, I think we will have a better chance to win. Because, because, because also now speaking from a player's point of view there's a type of game sometimes that as a player, it plays too long in your mind. You play the game before you play the game, and sometimes the occasion takes over. You forget to play the game, and you regret after the game. Asia could have played a better yeah. game because of <laughs> certain certain things that were playing in my mind. And you look at the magnitude of the game. These are two teams that wants to go, proceed and go to the final. Memory Sundowns is expected to win because it is a team that is dominant in the league. Orlando Pirates, it's a team. You can see the way they they assemble the team this season. It's a team also that wants to start winning trophies. Mm. So now you get into this game as a Memory Sundowns coach. How do you how do you approach a team that you know that they are your biggest competitor they're going to come in here fearless and and also you look at also the previous performance when they played during the week they played like you mm. said they played so much pride so much mm. joy so much uh, uh, enthusiasm how do you approach as uh, this game as a uh, Mamelodi Sundowns coach yeah I think I think also for for how Sundowns have been playing and the They've been an open book. Yeah. I think most teams know the approach. Yeah. Um, and, and for me, it's, it's also about the, 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 the players that have been there 
that they have the experience, you know, your jallies, your mshishi, yeah. to carry on uh, 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 carrying the weight in terms of uh, maybe the other youngsters that are coming in to be able to perform in this big stage. Yeah. But I think for, for, for Sundowns is to, is to continue performing the way they've been playing because uh, the good thing is we, we've been creating chances. Yeah, and, and, and for me, hence I'm saying uh, the game is going to be won and lost in, 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 in how we, we convert the chances that we create because I think if we are able to calm the nerves and be composed in front of goals, I think for me, that's where the game is going to be won yeah. because uh, as I said, I know Pirates is going to come, come out uh, uh, trying to take the game to sundowns. Yeah. They will attack sundowns. I don't think they will sit back. They will fancy their chances with yeah. how they've been playing. Yeah. But I don't think it's too much of a problem for sundowns yeah. because they're able to... To, to, to absorb the pressure and still play their type of football because yeah. in any way how Pirates have been playing um, they've been maybe dominating slightly with, with the ball possession yeah. but when it comes to sundowns I don't think they will dominate ball possession yeah. but they will still create chances, chances so yeah. if we are able to keep dominating the ball to keep the patience to keep probing and make sure that when we create these situations we are clinical in front of goals yeah. I think that's going to be the trick for us in, in terms of how we come out victorious in this encounter. Ah, thank you very much, Coach. I don't, I don't want to dilute it any further. Thank you very much no, for, you're most welcome. For, for giving us your time and space. As for the fans, please come and support the club We're playing at Pulukwani Stadium against uh, Orlando Pirates. I think one of the biggest encounters this season. I uh, can't wait and I'm excited for it. Thank you very much. Thank you.